Welcome back team. You're Gaming with the Colonel and this is Strategic Command American Civil War. I am playing Mr. Harry Smith from Down Under. He is the Union. I am the Confederacy. When last we left off, I had been bringing units down to counter the invasion of Wilmington. So let's see what he does to us today. Alright, yeah, so he keep, continues to be behind the river and he just pounds down on uh, one division every single turn and kills it. And I'm backed off. Um, okay, I'm, I'm good with that. I am happy to be where I am right now. Uh, it's not great. Oh, this guy's not going to live. Get all those gunboats that are... Yeah. If you live, I'm moving you out of there. Them boats are way more powerful than I thought they were. Yeah. I'm gonna need units over there. I'm gonna need bigger units. Again, he needs to come to me, so. Uh-oh. I hate it when that happens. Yeah, Charleston, you know, these forts are just so weak. Um, the fact that they can move that far after landing is also a minor irritant. Yeah, I don't think those ironclads do much. It's the gunboats that really hurt you. with everything he's got. We really need Fort Craig. We're going to have to back him up if he lives. Oh, he lived. All right, so here we go. Here we go. So he landed again. I wonder if I can rail somebody directly into Charleston which I really need to do. Um, Jefferson City's got a guy. And I get uh, two divisions and an ironclad. Okay, so let's, let's start in the far west. Over here. That's a zero. That's a one, one. Let's take it. That's a two, one. Let's take it. You need to be repaired. You need to be repaired. You're still a 2-0, so that's not worthwhile. Let's swap you out. That ain't going to do it. All right, so you come on back. Let's fix you. Let's upgrade you if we can. We cannot. Next turn. Okay. Over here we have a stalemate. Okay, that's fine. We're bringing you up as fast as we possibly can. Still made in there. We have really crappy uh, mud, so we're not going to be doing anything there. These are all good. This guy needs to be reinforced. Beauregard, you're doing good work. Let's go see what's up here. Uh, let's not go that far. There might be somebody there. Okay, you got a division and you got some cavalry. 
which I see. I may want to back you up one. Yeah. Put you right here. Oh, that, that's, that was nice. Do I spend 33 to get the additional one? I don't think so. It's probably not worth it. Right here, can we finally go on the offensive or not? I don't need to go on the offensive. That's the thing. They're in Somerset. I don't need to be across the river there. What are you doing? What was I going to do with you guys? What do you got in Glasgow? Division. Could use another leader over here. I could use a leader over there. Um, I don't think you're coming over here. I don't think you're coming. So, this guy could probably move. He would cost 66. And I'm wondering if I can rail him directly into Charleston. You're definitely coming down. Here's a guy who's a mountain division. No mountain over there. Let's give you the upgrade. Let's find out what there is to see here. Let's bring you down because I can see that far. Let's reinforce you. So your other guy's probably here. Yeah, I do. What are the properties for Swamp? There's a defense bonus, but you get no entrenchment. Let's go here. <laughs> now let's deal with this. Do I want to bring you down here for a quick stop? What, do I, what else do I have? You three are getting upgraded. Four. Five. Six. That's a reinforce and reinforce and reinforce. So there ain't nothing going on up there. So yeah, I think I need to bring this guy from over here, from Dresden. Actually, the Dutch Devils. Dutch Devils are a core. Cost 99 to move. But if I get them in there... Oh, look at that. There we go. Point. That'll work out great. Now... 
Uh, we need to make sure you guys don't get any supply. I got new units. Jones Division and the Johnson Division. I can go on either side here. So there and there. And I'm going to take this guy and put him up here. Well, you might as well put him in here. No, because you might schwack, schwack down on him. I'm going to put him in here, and then I'm going to cause these guys some anguish. So what do I do with this mountain division? I think I'm going to move him forward and get him ready. Yeah, to stop down in here. It's either that or I rail him here. Now, I think I need to stop this first, Wilmington, and then we'll worry about the other one. I think we've done a fairly good job. And next one, we'll see what else is in here. I think we've done a fairly good job of containing this. We don't have anybody here, which is unfortunate. We can move Jacksonville. If I railed you, where could you go? Nowhere. Jacksonville doesn't have any good place to go. Okay, so that, that's a non-starter. Oh, boy. I think Elizabeth City might be a... Not really a target. He's got this locked on lockdown. But his four amphibs are now... Unless, they're, unless you move one out of here, his amphibs are now engaged. So that's an amphib. That's an amphib. That's an amphib. You, you're done doing your thing. Let's uh, do it in the next thing. Maybe I'll move up here by this river and start there. And we should have two sides. Like that. Okay, you need some more. I'm going to swap you out next time. And then we'll have an additional brigade for usage. You want to see what's up here. A lot. Bobby, you've got the guys behind the line. Jackson. Yeah, I don't have anybody on him, which is unfortunate. We're going to have to swap you out. Or move you up, Bobby. I think that's what's going to happen. This guy here is going to be able to leave. I could leave now. get you here is that going to help seems like I should have somebody in Savannah for sure the way things have been going but again you've got all four already in there Next turn, when I bring up another unit, I might be able to do that. So this is eventually this is going to be the line right here because he's going to keep destroying these guys. Hopefully they just retreat and I can repair. He's probably going to eventually get this back, but not today. All right, so we got 367 left. 
Do I go on the offensive? I came over here. I need more than what I got. Again, I just need to hold what I have. I don't have to move out smartly. Let's check research. Core org, we can pop another one into. We've got 400 that we can do. And I think cavalry equipment, infantry tactics, both of those are important. Squirmishers is about to pop, so I'll have an extra 150 next time. So yeah, I think I'm going to put one in infantry tactics. That's going to help with those uh, artillery defense. And then we're going to start on cav tactics. And I don't have enough money. So there's that. So let's purchase. Nothing. Can't buy anything except the armor train. <laughs> um, the armor train might not suck. It's a little less useful for the Confederacy <coughs> as there's not a lot of places to go. But since he's invading here where there's a lot of rail, I don't know. I think I'm going to hold the money. Money's important. Money's important. I'm still worried about this. Still worried about that. Okay, so these guys have a supply of eight. That's going to slowly burn down unless you can get Charleston. Charleston has a readiness of 72 and a morale of 95. I'm hoping that's going to be enough. Okay, and I'm not going on the offensive. I don't think that's worthwhile. This is a stabilized line. can't get up and around here, can I? Oh, I can, but not very far. I don't know if I want to do that. He'll attack it. I could do that. Get him over here. Yeah, I think that's worth while doing. Notice I didn't pick up these hexes because I did naval cruise. All right. This is going to get ugly quick. I'm going to need more units over here. And that's going to have to be done next turn. I may have to do a retrograde operations here. Back to here, this line. Depending on how many he has up there. If he's got a core up there, he's probably got a leader. Okay, yeah, I'll end this turn. It's, it's winter. Uh, the Partisan Ranger Act has allowed various irregular units to disrupt. Partisans have been successful. Others have not. Federal reprisals have made such bans unpopular among the civilian population and some top field commanders who are calling for the act to be repealed. Should we repeal the act, partisan bans will continue to trouble the federal advance in existing areas, but no new bans will be formed in the Deep South. Alternatively, we can announce that the government support for the partisans will greatly increase partisan activity, especially in Virginia, the Carolinas, Georgia. However, this will reduce our fighting spirit by 50 points per turn. Would you like to officially support the partisans or repeal? Let's see what the notes are. Saying yes to this will increase the range of locations where partisans can operate from especially in the eastern states of the Confederacy. Yeah, but he's not in my states. It was repealed on the recommendation of Robert E. Lee. OK, 
okay, so we're going to say no. I don't want to lose the fighting spirit. We're going to do what Robert E. Lee did. All right, we complete another fortress. Continue to blockade me. Continue to deal with that. As, as they, these guys can move in so fast. I definitely need to get a unit over here. I'm going to do that here shortly. Um, yeah, the money has really gone down. Uh, losing those ports really hurt. Really, really hurt. I need to get them back. And ASAP. All right, so you've been gaming with the Colonel. Please like, subscribe, come back early and often. Harry, it's your turn, and I'm out.